Actually, we'll just go back here and yeah. you can, we'll see <coughs> the churches. Oh, you talk about the O'Briens. I wonder whether they... Uh, no. oh, I was saying about the, uh, <coughs> the receipts. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The yes. the receipts. It was uh, Herle Hill, Eddie. No, Herle Hill was another very old family here. Yes. Uh, and there were two women in 1850. They were living here on the top of this uh, top of the archer. And one of them got a, a pound to leave the hut, and the other one got to the seven pounds to leave the house. Uh, and, and, uh, and what that was all about the time was. You're saying about the 1850s, did you say? This so? was about 1850, 1849, yes. just the end of the famine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And what would happen to them then? What would they... Uh, Workhouses. A lot of them, that's... It's a... Take us enough to go to milk. To take enough to get in there. Yeah, we actually have all of them. It's all paper. Yeah. And we asked... Yeah, we told these families to go to milk. And we told them to go to milk. Where will they get the money from to go to America? Oh, uh, well, well, they offered this money to go. By the government. The uh, land clearance oh, or whatever it was, the government. No, it wasn't. It was some the diablo sandwich, the landlord. He the actually landlord. paid him. The landlord, the benevolent landlord. Which was really yes. Yes. Because it was something. Uh, do you want to go down to this? Well, no, I was just... Let's see if there's two the ditch there. Let's see if they're hiding. Yeah, yeah. So this one's alive, no. is it? Well, well, we don't don't know. well you don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I wasn't looking like even higher then. Find out very quickly. Whoops. What about you, Joan? I've scored the date of the same time. Uh, whoops. There we go. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. I've stopped. Oh, it's off. Penny and Joe are in the mess. Yes. We went down across this way and it's cool. it was known as a mess pen back then. Uh, uh, down with this way? Um, oh. Did you see me and George would have come yes. down across, with, and Upton's was inside here. Yes. And they went down across this way. Now, when, when uh, uh, we'd be going to school, the school was across the road from the church, we'd go down straight through the fields. Right, So yes. we literally did go to, to school through the fields. Uh, and uh, and you also the mass path path did well, you mass use path, it? Uh, every Sunday morning there would be there could be up to maybe fifteen people walking walking to mass. Uh, yeah. okay yeah. and you can remember that oh as I a can child. I can remember that as a child and yes. we, there was uh, planks across the dikes so they right. could walk across you can actually yes. see and the we went, we yeah I can see the we church went, yeah. Uh, we yeah. went to school every yeah. morning in this yeah yeah, yeah. that's oh. interesting right yeah here See, Mian Mianus has a small, t it has a hotel and a... Yes, over there in the village. A, yeah. a little village, yes. Yeah. yeah. Hotel. Hotel. A pub. A pub. A pub. A lot of houses at both sides of the ditch. Yes. And there was, if, you, if when we were growing up, there was a lot of apple trees down the line okay. ditch. So it was interesting, the spark holdings right. of people that were right. here. Okay. Because we reckon that there was up to 10 to 12 families in the field outside us here. Ah, right, yes, oh, yes. And there was 20 families evicted in 1836. Out, out here. Yeah, okay. And so they were probably here. Yes, yes. Okay. And if you look at 1831 with Eddie Putnam's yeah. and 1851, which for Griffith, there was names missing. Yeah. yeah. 1831 to 51. There was people like walls, cartrons, the heavens. Yes. Yeah, so they seemed to disappear. We reckon that there could have been some of the people that were evicted, evicted. at the time. Evicted. No. Evicted. But we don't know. And some just chose to leave, I guess. Well, the yeah. pressure was on them to. Yes. But, but, but they were evicted. And there was a 20 year difference between the yeah. Tithe valuation and the Griffith valuation. Like that was 1830 well, versus 1850. The 1831 was for the Tithes. Yes, yes. Which yeah. was the paid to yes. the Protestant clergymen. And yes. it was based on what crops. You had, mm. yes. you had your, nothing to do with was, much and was totally, it was crops. And yeah. it was totally anti the okay. small yeah. like, yes. because all yes. he had was the potatoes anyway. Yes. And yes. he was paying on his if he had two acres of potatoes and that's mm. all he had. He yeah. was paying on the two acres. Mm. Whereas the man with the cows, he might have two acres of potatoes, but he also might have had eight acres of, of grass. Of grass. grass. Yes. 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 But didn't pay anything for the grass. Yes. Oh. Okay. So it was okay. very, very discriminatory. Mm. And, and if they didn't, they didn't really have any choice. Uh, if the uh, the landlord would offer them that 
money. small amount of money and they, if they didn't go they would make it very difficult. Oh, they would. Yeah. Alternatively, if one of the, if someone got arrested and, uh, and sent to, to Van Diemen's land, the rest, sometimes the rest of the family would get arrested on purpose to follow. Yes, but I would also think that some of the landlords did not want their tenants disgruntled. That no. They may have given them an extra shilling or two to, really to get them rid them. of them yeah. peacefully. Yeah. What do you yeah. think, Pat? Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. there was one of those receipts and it said that, I can't remember the name, but that he wanted the prize to send his three sons to America. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he obviously, he got, we'll say, 15 pounds. Right. I can't remember the figure. Yeah. But um, he was obviously satisfied with that, that he had enough to, to get give, the, yeah. give the yeah. three sons yeah. money to go to America. And he was probably going to go and live with a daughter who was married. And was well, you know, I suppose it wasn't too bad for the younger people, at least they had the option. But you know, there was there was a lady here in Awful Alcorn, said she was an Ellen Helper here, and all she had was a horse. She got her pound. Where did she go? Yes. You know, the question is, where did she go? Yes. Maybe she went to brother or something. You know, yeah. Or some, you know, it was shocking when you were thinking about it. Mm. Oh, absolutely. A pound to get out of a horse. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was serious. <coughs> well, they, 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 they used the, uh, the famine as a as a means of clearing the land, clearing the tenants yeah, off the land. It. It, it wasn't a famine, really. But it wasn't a famine. No, it was a great hunger. There was plenty of food. There was plenty of food. It was a famine. I, I, I was going to ask you, but, uh, this area wouldn't have suffered as, as much, would it, from but the famine? See, it would have been more but, productive. But can, I, can you just it's listen to a minute? There was no famine in Ireland. No. It was, they were able to grow all the other crops, but the landlord, they had to get his pound of flesh. He had to get his money, his rent. So the other Yes. The other things they grew were exported. Yes. Yes. So yes. it was only okay. the theatre craft field. I, 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 mm. I, 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 to get the, the, the I, I, I take that point. Oh, yes. 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 That's why we call it the Great Hunger. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. not the famine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, 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 I take that point. Yeah, yeah. I've been very strong about did, that. To, uh, uh, misnomer. Yeah. But were the effects as bad here as... No. They, they weren't as bad as around Cork. And no, Skibbereen was well, uh, horrific. Well, I'd say especially... Up to the west. Up to the west. Yeah. Would have been yeah. very, very bad. Yeah. But is it, you know, we it would have been bad really. enough, I'd say, for the smaller ones here, because you yeah. must remember here, at that particular time, there was no drainage, no nothing. No. This was the wastest area of County Limerick yeah. you could really right. pick. Okay. You know, I mean... But obviously all our ancestors who survived us were comfortable. Even if they had nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, mm. we yeah. think they had nothing. They were yeah. maybe they were renting five or six acres. They had a bit were, more land. But they were able to be more land. I'd say to be fair to them as well. I'd say a lot of them they helped each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And, and did uh, did Noel say or last night or something about because the land some of the land was poorer that the um, the landlords or what weren't so interested in it or, well, or the, yeah that was the, true because yeah, there was, part of, there was part of the bog here yeah. oh, quit, yeah. and they didn't charge any right but I mean it was literally flooded for probably yeah. the but the other here. thing is I would imagine during the Cranwellian yes. uh, plantation that time yeah. in the 1600s I would imagine that that's how all these families have survived yeah. is because they didn't want mm. the poor land that was here. Mm. They mm. wanted yeah, yeah. to mm. know to the, the yeah. uh, mm. On the other hand though, some of the landlords were were keen to, to clear their land to make it more productive. Yeah. Clear them of all the tenants and make yeah. it more productive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. I mean that was why you had such a clear out <coughs> at the end of the famine because they yeah. used this as they used it. Excuse. 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 people themselves at that stage were so desperate yeah. they wanted no, to get no, out anyway. Yeah, otherwise yeah. But, uh, and they, they just took the opportunity at that particular time. Now, I mean, the landlord here, the other sandwich, well, at least he paid them the money. There was an outlet for other parts of the country yeah, that weren't there. They got they nothing. Got nothing. No. They were actually they put nothing. out they were in that, and the little, the the little huts yeah. were knocked down yeah, around their ears. Yeah. And so, well, I don't know much about him, the Earl of Sandwich. Was he... So he was a bit more benevolent. Uh, and he, I, well, I was, would imagine he, he, was, he wasn't here at all. He was not here at all. Absolutely. 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 No, they all were. Yeah. Yeah. He was in Huntington. Yeah. Yeah. So they used their agents. Yeah. The, the agents did all the dirty work for them.
them. If you're in that site, yeah. it's worth yeah. going into yeah. the Huntington because archives when, when to see the, uh, the archives. Where's Huntington? Well, it's in, evicted. It's yeah. about an hour yeah. off. Um, okay. Oh. 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 That's where we saw the man that wanted our farm at the time of the dinners. And he got into trouble because he stood up for the doors that were being evicted. And he was fined ten ten pounds, which was a heap of money that time. In the autumn, or Sorry, who was that? Uh, well, it was the man, it, was, it would have been my great great grandfather. Okay, right. And yeah. he was fined and he was bound to the peace for 12 months because. And 10 pounds would be a huge amount. It was one, Willem Gleason. Mm. And I reckon he lost the field inside it. Yeah, too, I reckon that's was, where the field yeah, That's where the field, yeah. the field disappeared. Yeah, yes. But, um, and he'd have two shores instead of five pounds each, which were probably two neighbours. Yeah. And he probably had to put that away himself, probably. And he well. probably had to no. give up the field because. He probably had to give up the field because, because he had the money he, to pay it. Yeah, he had the money to pay it if he had to pay the 10 pounds fine. Yeah. Yeah. And you had the people that got put in, in uh, like when someone got evicted, sometimes yeah. someone else took it over in English with an English That's name, it. and they're still living in the area now, you know, yeah. that I found but in some the areas. Funny, the funny thing about it here yeah. was that all the people that got the land here, all the big estates, we said they're Hartigans, gone. Gleasons, they're all gone, just none of them here. Right. There were seven families of Hartigans, it is hard yeah. to believe there isn't one of them left. Ah, well, and the so they only came in here in the 18th, they only came in after the famine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the Hartigans back in there, like, uh, They'd be the only family of the Hartigans that's yeah. left that's actually. Yeah. Yeah. The Hartigans have John, John Hartigan. Whether, whether they were connected, I presume they were connected with the Hartigans. Oh, they were here. connected with the Hartigans here. Between yeah. the seven families, there was a family in, we say, well, Kennedy's or yeah. in Boho House. There was a Boho family. Green Lawn. There was um, Green Lawn, Cool Fion, Drucker, eight, that's four. Yeah. There was, we say, uh, here, here, here five, Green Lodge eight, and Green and House. Green House, six, and there was one in Manistel, seven. Yeah. So it's yeah. interesting, you know... Claran. Claran. Yeah, Claran. And that's, that'd be this article. That'd be this article. Yeah. Lucky you don't have to take notes, but no, no, I'm going to get all there. Yeah. But I'm, I'm interested that you know the... You know the families who were here and went, and yeah. you know the families who got the land. Uh, yeah. you, that you, That's just all part of your... Uh, and